Hi, boys and girls. We're going to take a look at our math for today. And I sent you in your packet a math paper that looks like this. And on the side, it says MK073C. Right there. Make a 10. And it has all these different groups of pictures. And so the directions on this is circle 10 in each group. So you have groups with lots of objects in them. And we're supposed to circle only 10 because we've been working a lot with 10 sets. So I see whistles in this first group. There's so many of them. And I see basketball hoops and popcorn and balls, t-shirts and referees. So it looks like maybe we're at a sporting event, a game basketball, yes, basketball game maybe. They're, they're selling popcorn, the referees have whistles, they've got the baskets, the basketballs, the referees, and the different jerseys that the players wear. Well, we're supposed to just circle 10. So I was gonna look at a way that I might circle the 10s when I had a group that had lots of objects in it. Let's see if we can go to my share screen right here. There it is. And let's just say that we make a group of objects together here. So I can make a group of objects here. I think these will be like circles and ovals. Let's make a bunch of circles and ovals. Some of them will be circles. Some will be stretched out into ovals some more round like a circle, some like an oval, kind of like an egg. And I'll just make a bunch of them here, kind of like your picture on your math paper just has a lot of objects all together in a group. So we'll find out a way that I would circle just 10. If I had so many objects grouped together like this, it's kind of hard to make sure that you just have 10. So what I might do is I might put a mark on each one as I count up to 10. So I'm gonna mark these objects as I'm counting to 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there, I counted 10 of them, and I want to circle just 10. So now I'm gonna pick up my writing tool, and I'm gonna put the ones that I marked in my circle. I'm gonna grab them all up in my big circle, and now I have a group of 10. Because I marked them, and I made sure that I only got 10 of them. How many did I have left over? I had two left over. Are there more shapes in the circle or more shapes outside of the circle? There are more shapes inside of the circle, yes. There are less shapes outside of my circle. There's only two out here. Okay, well, let's do that again. What else could I make? I can make another shape, I think, here with my drawing tools. I will pick up this shape and see if I can make some squares. Squares have four sides and they're all the same size. So I'm gonna make some squares. And then I could also use this shape to make some rectangles, you're right. Rectangles are stretched out. They have two long sides and two shorter sides. That makes it a rectangle, that long word. Let's see if I can make another rectangle. They're stretched out. There we go. And squares are the same size. The sides are the same. Four sides that are the same. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, there's a big square. Let's just go ahead and add a bunch of them like it's on our math paper. There's so many shapes in each of those groups. 
We're going to just add a bunch of squares and rectangles. And then we'll try to count out just 10 to circle like our directions say to do. Our directions say to circle just 10 in each group. Okay, so I might have some room over here for another one. Maybe I can make a skinny. Oh, I don't know what that one is. I think I lost my shape. Let's make one more right here. A skinny rectangle. We did it. Okay, so if I am supposed to count out just 10 of these and put them in a circle, then I like the idea of marking them as I count them. That way I won't count them again and again and count the same ones two or three times. If I went like this, I might go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, did I already count these? It gets confusing when they're not in a nice line and a nice order. So I like to just mark them off. And that way I know that I already counted them and I won't count them again and again. So I'm gonna pick up my tool and let's mark them off as we count them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Is that how many I'm supposed to circle? Yes, I'm supposed to circle groups of 10. So now I'm going to get my tool for circling and I'm going to put all those that I marked off in a great big circle. So now I have one big group of 10 that I circled just like that. Okay, so I like putting them into big groups of 10. But what if you had some objects like this? Let's try this one. What are these? Yes, these are hearts, you're right. So what if I was just supposed to get 10 of these hearts? Okay. Well, you could get your writing tool and you could just circle them one at a time. One, and count them as you circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So did I circle 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I sure did, I circled 10. I did 10 circles. But I kind of like the idea of putting them in one great big 10 set because we've been talking so much about 10 sets. I made a great big circle full of 10. This is also another way, if you think you can do it that way, you can try it. So have fun grouping together your objects into 10 sets. And I'll put my share screen away. And you practice with your paper at home and you can keep on doing 10 sets at home. I love getting those pictures of 10 sets. So have fun. I'll see you next time.